discussion that pops up from time to time, especially when someone is on trial, um, usually in the United States, uh, for doing something absolutely hideous and not wanting to take responsibility for it. Right now we've got a, a young man who murdered two people out of state and is trying to get off, um, believes he shouldn't be held to the consequences. The, the excuse often used, and I, I haven't seen it in this particular trial, but it's always lingering right there, is God forgives, therefore everybody else should forgive too. Now, the problem with that is that it's usually used by people who are incredibly abusive, um, incredibly hateful, don't think consequences are their responsibility at all. It's often used in cases of child abuse, in sexual assault, um, any misconduct, um, usually um, against children or, children or women, and that's only because a lot of crimes against um, ethnic minorities are not really recorded, because that's how our society is set up, to, to champion certain people at the expense of others. So here's the thing, with God forgives, so why should I be held responsible for my actions? God might forgive, absolutely, that's a, that's a full statement, there's, there's no conditions or questions or additions that go with that. However, God's forgiveness is about our soul, our essence, the, the, the being, the part of us that is made in God's image. God's forgiveness is not about our physicality or our actions or our um, uh, demonstration of hate towards someone else. We are always subject to the rules of the land. Now, if you get a case where you're in, well, you know what, we just celebrated, or not, not celebrated, we just recognized Remembrance Day this past week. A lot of Christians were put in concentration camps because they saved Jews, and they rescued them, they protected children. When they were discovered, they were put in concentration camps, a number of them were executed. It was against the law to do that, but they were morally right with God. It was the right thing to do. When we get excuses out of people who are, are primarily right-wing Christians who say, well, God forgives, I shouldn't be re responsible for the women I raped or the children I assaulted or the people I murdered, the problem with that is that it's not a righteousness act. It, you're not right with God in that kind of stuff. And you really do have to deal with the consequences of your behavior. Just because something is outlawed in a horrible situation does not mean when you resist all laws that you are somehow acting out God's will and God's faith. It doesn't work like that. So here's the litmus test. If your actions, your choices, hurt other people, they're wrong. There, there's no two ways about it. They're just wrong. If your actions save other people, regardless of whether they are criminal in the current government you live under, that's very different. You are right with God. And you can move from being criminally responsible because you hurt people and into a world of forgiveness. But you have to take responsibility. You have to take consequences. You have to admit you were wrong. And a lot of these people who want to throw God around like it's a get out of jail free card, they really don't have much interest in having a good relationship with God. They just want it as an excuse because generally history has shown that when you pull out the church card, the Christian card, people back off. And it's really time to stop doing that. And we as Christians have to take the lead and saying, nah, -uh. God might forgive, but there's still consequences. you got to live up to them. That's the only way we can kind of move forward without looking like complete hypocrites. And, you know, a lot of us are trying to not be hypocrites in our faith. So it's time we called out people and held them responsible. Might God might forgive, absolutely. But God does not let us off the hook from the consequences of our choices and behaviors.